Hi friends and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hello! My name's Jewel Jagambar and I'm a UK music producer. Today's video is all about releasing music. Now some of you may be aware that on the 5th of March I'll be releasing my debut single Without You on all streaming platforms, although by the time that this video has gone out it may be that it's already released and it's past the 5th of March, so I'll leave links in the description as to where you can find it. But anyway, throughout this process I've learned a lot of things that I feel that I should share with you. Even if you're not a producer or releasing your own music, it can be really beneficial to be able to help your clients after the production, mixing and mastering stages. So make sure you stay tuned and hit the subscribe button and notification bell for new videos every Wednesday. And things will never be the same when I hear Now, I know that releasing music isn't technically music production, which is the main focus of this channel, but I think that being able to get your own music and your own work and your clients' music in front of the biggest audience possible is really, really important. Now, I'm not saying that this is the best release strategy, but this is what I've done and I'll make a video later on to assess how well the single's been received and how well the release has gone. There are so many channels on YouTube that deal with releasing music and release strategies, which I found really helpful throughout this process, so I'll leave a link to those down in the description. But these are the six main lessons that I have learnt. Lesson number one, singles, not EPs. When I first decided that I was going to be releasing my own music, I decided that I'd release an EP with four tracks on it. And I was in this mindset for about a week before I then decided that I was going to release four singles instead of an EP. And my reasoning for this is twofold. The first one, and the main one, is the Spotify curator's playlists. And these are the playlists made by Spotify. They're the really big ones, for example, New Music Friday. And as it stands at the moment, you can only submit one unreleased song at a time for these playlists. And so if I released an EP, I'd only be able to choose one song from the EP to put forward for these playlists. But by releasing four singles, I can put each song forward. And that means that I get four chances of getting onto the playlist instead of one. Another reason that I chose singles, not EPs, is that I'm a new artist. People aren't going to be invested enough to listen through to a whole EP, but they may just be invested enough to listen through to a single. Lesson number two, have multiple songs ready to be released. In this day and age, the turnaround of songs and artists is astronomical. So many songs get uploaded and consumed every day that we're really spoilt for choice. People A, don't want to wait for new music to come out and B, don't need to wait anymore, especially if they're not really invested in you as an artist just yet. And so, to keep momentum, we need to be releasing as much music as we can in as short a time as possible. Personally, I've decided that for my singles, I'm going to try to release a song every two months. This gives me a month to build up the excitement towards the release for the song, and a month after release to really promote and push it. And personally, I think that this will give each song its best chance of success. Lesson number three, be prepared to write. Something I didn't think about was how much you have to write, actually write. Firstly, you'll need to write an artist biography, and this is a general description of you and your music. It basically tells your story and tells the people who you are. Secondly, you need to write a press release of the song, and this needs to include what to expect in the song, what your influences were, and tells the song story. And thirdly, you need to write to actual people, to get radio play, to get blog coverage, to get onto playlists, to get onto podcasts. You need to write emails to specific people. And for the best chance of success, you need to make sure that each of these emails are personalised too. Lesson four, make sure you're happy with the artwork. It's kind of obvious that the artwork is really, really important. But I didn't think about how much it can set the tone for your song or tell your song's story and express the emotions that you want to convey. And you can do this using either props or colours or something like that. 
but you also need to make sure that you're really happy with it because it's probably going to be the basis of all promotion you do around the song. It's going to be the thing that people see on social media and recognise as your song's artwork. You also need to make sure that it will work in a variety of different formats. So one, it works as the single cover. Two, it could work as a profile picture. And on some platforms, these can be really small circles. And that it works as cover pictures or banners, which again are quite elongated rectangles. So the artwork is really, really, really important. Lesson number five, don't get discouraged. As soon as I had sorted out all the details and my song was scheduled for release with my distributor, I started emailing people and contacting people to get some promotion around the release of my song. And I thought that I would come back with floods of emails and I'd be completely overwhelmed with responses. But sadly, this wasn't the case. Some people do get back to you. They just take a while because they have such a large amount of music submissions. Some get back to you and want you to pay to get played or to get covered. And that's absolutely fine if that's something you want to do and a road you want to go down. And some people don't reply at all. But don't get disheartened. This happens to everyone. Not every single person you contact is going to reply to you. But that doesn't mean that your music's bad at all. Lesson number six, social media. Nowadays, social media is one of the biggest tools we have as artists or producers. It's a really great way to connect with our audience and the people consuming our music. And these are the people that really make or break the commercial success of our song. The more people that like your posts or share your music with others, the better your song's likely to do and the more noticed it's likely to get. And so while social media can seem like a huge job and can seem really time consuming, it really, really is worth it as it's the best way to let people know that your music exists. So those are the six main lessons that I've learned from releasing my own song. If you have any tips or tricks of your own, please let me know down in the comments. It definitely has been a very interesting experience and will help me advise clients on what to do with their music after the production, mixing and mastering stages. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and interesting. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and if there are any other videos you'd like to see in the future. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell and I will see you again soon.